Hi, it's Tammy. Um, so of recording of this video, I've had a tattoo done. So I apologise that I look a bit crappy. I've just come back from work and I'm tired and my tattoo hurts. Um, so yeah, um, I will put up some images either before the video or at some point during the video to what it is I got. Um, I've got it done on my thigh. And this is my fourth tattoo. Um, it was a very long session. Um, I went in basically at quarter past ten. Didn't start till about eleven. And then it finished about half five. No, sorry, half four. But I didn't get out of the shop till, half, till about five. So, yeah, that was a very painful. I had quite a big piece on my thigh. Um, so yeah, so when you get a tattoo done, a lot of the time, I will just explain a little bit about the aftercare, I'm not going to go too much into it, I just kind of want to be like, hey, I've got a new tattoo, so. Uh, they tend to cover it in stuff like this, um, there's different ways you can call it and stuff, but it basically acts like a second skin, so you put it on and Basically, you can have that on for a certain amount of days. Um, I recently just come back, because I had it done yesterday. So I've just come back from work, took that off, gave it a good clean. Um, you want you want to use something that's not going to be so harsh on your skin. So something like just, you know, just some warm water, some antibacterial soap, something like that. Um, give it a clean and then I've just wrapped it up in that after giving it a good pat to dry because you don't want to rub it because at, cause at the moment it, when you get it done it feels like a sunburn so it's really kind of sore and irritated so you just want to give it a little tap just tap it dry so I've put a new layer on I'm going to have it on for maybe a couple of days I'll see how it goes just eyeball it really and then afterwards I'm going to use some tattoo goo which I've used for my other tattoos before um, just to keep it moisturised and healthy um, I am running a bit low on that actually <laughs> um, so basically with that you want to kind of add it like once or twice a day after you've given it a good clean um, maybe a little bit throughout the day but you only want to put a thin layer on you don't want to smother it because you need it to breathe and very important when you have it done you don't want to drown it in water so if you have a bath or shower try to um leave it as much as you can and then when it gets to the scabby part which is the fun part <laughs> and it gets very very itchy and unbearable so that's gonna be fun especially since it's also such a large piece so that's gonna be fun um obviously it's very important you don't want to scratch it you want to try and leave it as much as possible um i normally kind of put a few layers of this it kind of helps calm it a bit um there are other youtubers i watched um so yeah i just wanted to go a little bit into it i will put some pictures up to what i got um i had my tattoo done by mud from craven ink and i love the work that he does he does like a lot of like black and grey work and I just absolutely, like he did my last tattoo before this one and I absolutely loved it. Um, I will do like a tattoo tour at some point um, but I've only got like four tattoos at the moment so it's not going to be much. Um, might do some based on my piercings first possibly when I've got time. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of want to be like, hey, I've got a new tattoo and I'll probably, um, I have put some pictures on Instagram so I will try to put that in the link um, and you would see some of the pictures on there as well. I tend to post a bit more on there so you keep updated on what I do, which isn't very interesting if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, that's kind of just it. Um, I'm very happy with the work 
it was such a long session I'm not I don't think I could go that long again um, as I've beforehand I've only had quite smallish tattoos so this is the first really big one I've had that's got a lot of detail so it was very like oh I just want this to be over with <laughs> but I was like so exhausted um, so yeah sorry I went on a bit of a rant um, I kind of want to make this video just so you know what's going on because this channel is going to be based around tattoos and piercings and stuff and since I've had a new tattoo I thought well, why not I make a video on it um, I can't show you at the moment because it's like on my leg I don't really feel comfortable with that but I will put some pictures up which was taken at the studio um, I have um, if I pull it before or after um, you'd see I did take a few pictures and a small little video of him actually tattooing. Um, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to put it before or after, so you probably would have seen it. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Sorry, I keep looking over there. I've got a window and people are just looking at me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I will maybe link some other videos which I find very helpful. I have got a playlist of like piercings and tattoos. One of them should be in there. And so yeah, uh, that's going to be it for this video. So I hope you've enjoyed. And yeah, um, I will be doing another ear stretching video. Probably won't be until after I've sorted out this tattoo because obviously I don't want to stretch while it's trying to heal my tattoo as well because it puts a lot of strain on your body trying to focus on too many things at once so I don't want to do that so I'll do it after that's healed so maybe in a few weeks I'll bring out another video so yeah I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next one